Today's topic is resistivity and simple problems. The first problem is find the resistance of standard annealed copper wire 100 meter long and 25 mm square in cross section. Resistivity of copper is 1.72 into 10 power minus 8 ohm meter. This is the data is given. And we have to find the resistance. We know that resistance R is equal to rho L by A. The unit of resistivity is in ohm meters. L is the length of the conductor in meter. A is the cross sectional area of the conductor in meter square. So the first problem, find the value of resistance of a standard annealed copper wire length is equal to 100 meters. What is meant by standard? S-T-R-A-N-D-E-D. -E standard means these are all small wires are connected together. This is called a standard. Standard aluminium, standard copper. This is the meaning of standard. What is meant by annealed copper wire? Annealing is a process, heating, cooling. Metal is to improve the ductility, malleability and tensile strength of a material. They are doing some process. This is one process. This process is called the annealing process. Here, the copper wire, there are two types. One is a hard drawn copper, another is a soft drawn copper. Soft drawn copper is normally used in as a earth wire because it is very malleable. But in the case of hard drawn copper wire, it is generally used in a transmission lines. Here, the length is given 100 meters. Cross sectional area of the conductor is given, which is in 25 mm. Then resistivity is given 1.72 10, 10 power minus 8 ohm meter. Simply substitute in the formula R is equal to rho L by A. And 1.72 divided by 28, 5 is equal to 0 0.069. This is the resistance value 0 0.069. The second problem is a coil consists of 5000 turns of copper wire having a cross section of 0.8 mm square. The mean length per turn is 100 cm. The resistivity of copper at normal working temperature is 0 0.02 micro ohm meter. Calculate the resistance of the coil and power dissipated when it is connected across 220 volt supply. And also find current through the coil. Here the given is number of turns is given 5000. Cross section area is given 0.8 mm square. And mean length per turn is 100 cm and row resistivity is 0 0.02 micro ohm meter. And the supply voltage is given 220 volts. The mean length is equal to L is total length is equal to mean length per turn into number of turns. That is L is equal to number of turns. Therefore, 100 cm is equal to 1 meter. Therefore, 1 into 5000 that is equal to 5000 meters. The second cross sectional area is given in mm square, therefore 0.8 into 10 power minus 6 meter. Resistivity is given 0.02 into micro ohm meter into 10 power minus 6 ohm meter. So I convert all the units. Therefore R is equal to rho L by A. I substitute the values in this formula. I will find the value of resistance is 125 ohms. Now I know the value of uh, supply voltage. What is the supply voltage? 220. I know the value of resistance are 220 divided by 125. I will get 1.76 amps. Next is power dissipation. Power dissipation two formulas. One is I square into R or V square by R. Here the voltage is given and I know the resistance value 125. 220 square divided by R that is equal to 387.2 watts. The third problem, an aluminium wire 10 meter long is connected in parallel with the copper wire 5 meter long. When a current of 5 amp is passed through this combination, it is found that the current in the aluminium wire is 2.5 amps. The diameter of aluminium wire is 1 mm. Determine the diameter of the copper wire. Resistivity of copper is 0.017 micro ohm meter and that of aluminium is 0.028 micro ohm meter. So in this problem we have to find the diameter of the copper wire. The third problem, length of aluminium conductor is given 10 meters. Diameter of aluminium is 1 mm. Length of copper wire is 5 meters. The aluminium wire and the copper wire is connected in parallel. Current 
flows through this combination is 5. Current through the aluminum conductor is given 2.5 amps. Therefore, current through the copper conductor is 2.5 as per Kirchhoff's law. Current towards junction is 5. 2.5 plus 2.5, 5. That is current leaving the junction. The resistivity of copper is given 0.017 micro ohm meter. Resistivity of aluminum is given 0.028 micro ohm meter. I know the length and I know the diameter. This diameter is I know that is 1 mm. Therefore, pi into 1 into 10 power minus 6 divided by 4, area of the cross sectional area of aluminum conductor is equal to 7.85 into 10 power minus 7 meter square. Now, I know the value of A, I know the value of rho, and I know the value of L. I simply substitute in the formula. L is given, length is given. The value of resistance of aluminum is 0.357 ohms. Once I know the resistance and I know current flow through this conductor, aluminum conductor is 2.5, I can find the voltage drop. Voltage drop is equal to I into R. That is 2.5 into 0 0.357, 0 0.89 volts. These two are connected in parallel. In parallel, circuit voltage is constant. Same 0.89 volt across the copper wire. Therefore, voltage across the copper wire is also 0.89 volts. I know the voltage and I know the current flow through the flow in the copper wire that is 2.5 amps. I can calculate the value of resistance R is equal to V by I that is 0.89 divided by 2.5 that is equal to 0.356 ohms. Once I know the value of resistance, I know the value of resistivity is given, L is given, I can calculate the cross sectional area A. Therefore, A is equal to rho into L by R. Resistivity is given, 0.017 into 10 power minus 6. L is given, 5 meters. And resistance, I have calculated, 0.356. The area of cross section is 0.238 into 10 power minus 6 meters square. Once I know the area, A is equal to pi d square by 4. Therefore, A into 4 divided by pi is equal to d square. A, 0.238 into 10 to the power minus 6 into 4 divided by pi is equal to d square. I have calculated the value of d is equal to 0.55 mm. The fourth problem is, Find the resistance of the semicircular aluminum section shown in figure. Between the EQ potential phases A and B, the inner radius is 6 cm, radial thickness 6 cm, axial thickness 6 cm, resistivity of aluminum is 0 0.02 micro ohm meter. In the fourth problem, the given values are inner radius is 6 cm. Therefore, the inner diameter is 12. The outer diameter is 12 plus 12, 24. The inner plus outer is equal to 36 diameter. Mean diameter is equal to 18. Therefore, mean radius is equal to 9 centimeter. R 6 plus 3 is equal to 9 centimeter. Once I know the value of radial thickness and axial thickness, this is axial. This is axial, this is radius. So 6 into 6, 6 into 10 power minus 2 meters. I have converted into meters because it is given in centimeters. 6 into 10 power minus 2, the total cross sectional area is 0 0.0036 meter square. First step, first I have found the value of cross sectional area A. Next I have to find the length R is equal to rho L by A. I have found the value of A, next I have to find the value of L. The mean length is equal to pi into R. It is a semicircular. R is the radius, the mean radius. Therefore, mean length is equal to 3.14 into 9 into 10 power minus 2. The mean length is 0.283 meters. I know the value of L. The resistivity value is given. 0.028 into 10 power minus 6 that is aluminium. 
micro ohm meter that therefore point not to age in 10 power minus 6 ohm meter into real 0.283 divided by area 0.0036 the total resistance is 2.201 ohm meter micro ohm 2.201 micro ohm or into 10 power minus 6 ohms fifth problem a porcelain hollow cylinder 4 cm in dia is wound with a bare high resistance wire having a resistance of 1 ohm per meter length and 1 mm square cross section. The distance between consecutive turns equals the diameter of the wire. If the external surface of the cylinder excluding the ends can dissipate 0.5 watts per centimeter square at the permitted temperature rise find the length of the cylinder and the diameter and length of the wire for a loading 100 watts and current of 1 amps so a very important problem and interesting problem now we work out the problem so in this problem the cylinder is given this diameter is 4 cm for resistance is equal to 1 when L is equal to 1 meter and area is equal to 1 mm square that is A is equal to 1 mm square therefore rho is equal to R into A divided by L L in centimeter 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter 1 mm square 1 into 10 power minus 2 the resistivity is 10 power minus 4 ohm meter this is 1 number 2 Power dissipation for 100 watts for 1 amps is given. I square R is equal to W, therefore R is equal to W by I square, the watts by current square. 100 by 1 is equal to ohms, this is 2. Number 3, power dissipation is given 0.5 watts per centimeter square. How much area is required for 100 watts? That is the question. So area required is equal to 100 divided by 0.5 that is 200 centimeter square this is 3 so this is the area of the cylinder area of the cylinder what is the formula a is equal to pi into dl i know the area i know the diameter i can easily find the l l is equal to 15.92 centimeter now how to find the length of one turn length of one turn is equal to pi into d that is 3.14 into d d is given 4 12.56 centimeter the next step is I can easily calculate how many turns that is length divided by 2d here the two wires the distance between the two wires is d which is equal to the diameter of the wire therefore this is d by 2 this wire is d by 2 therefore the effective distance d is equal to 2, 2d therefore length of the cylinder divided by 2d will give the number of turns that is 7.96 divided by D. Now the length of the wire is equal to length of one turn into number of turns. Length of one turn is already I have found that is 12.56. That is 5 into 12.56. Number of turns is equal to 7.96 by D. If I found the value of D, I can calculate the length of the wire as well as the number of turns r is equal to rho l by a i can rewrite the formula r into a is equal to rho into l therefore r is equal to pi d square by 4 rho into 99.97 by d by simplifying d cube is equal to rho into 99.7 into 4 divided by pi into r therefore d cube is equal to 1.27 into 10 power minus 4 the d diameter of the wire is equal to this is diameter of the wire is equal to 0.05 centimeter. Once I know the value of the diameter of the wire, I can find number of turns. Number of turns is 7.96 divided by 0.05, 159 turns. And also I can easily find the length, 99.97 divided by D, and that is 0.05 is equal to 1999.4 centimeter. The length of the wire is 19.99 meters or 1999.4 centimeter. Number of turns is 159. 
the length of the cylinder is uh, 15.92 length of one turn is 12.56 the diameter of the wire is 0.05 cm so uh, I worked out all five problems and I also give a detailed uh, uh, write up in the description column please go through it uh, with this I conclude my lecture thanks for listening